Lewandowski. Hands to Anderson. Anderson trying to find running room. Gets across the line of scrimmage to 25. And E.J. Hall tackles him from behind. The clock is running with 20 seconds to go. The Packers out in front by 25 points. And this is the first Super Bowl. 10 seconds to go. The Packers standing around, not willing to get off another play necessarily. The Kansas City Chiefs are willing to walk to the sideline. And the Kansas City Chiefs, many of them, are walking forward to Green Bay Packers. Cheryl Hendrick shaking the hand of Bob Starr. All of them have come over and are talking to the Packers. That's the end of the game with the final score. Green Bay 35 and Kansas City 10. to Richardson. He has the ball. The game is over. The New York Jets are the world champions. They have upset the Baltimore Colts and beat them handily here today. They not only defeated them, but tell them, here's Shula going over. They shut out the Jets or the uh, Colts till the last three minutes and 19 seconds of the game. Running with the ball is Robert Hall. The tackle is made by Lonnie Warwick. The Vikings do not stop the clock. And you can count it down yourself. The score is 23 to 7. We're going to go to both dressing rooms. Stram is already on the shoulders of his players. And after being vanquished by Green Bay in 1967, the Chiefs are the champions of pro football. In passes, must be heartbroken. He lost on the one-yard line against Green Bay. The next year, he lost in the last few seconds when Bart Starr sneaked it over. And here he is now with five seconds remaining and maybe about to again bitterly and heartbreakingly lose a world professional championship. Bringing in the Dallas Cowboys within now only five seconds of the championship of the National Football League, winner of the Vince Lombardi Trophy, and the man they say is unemotional, Tom Landry, the only coach the Cowboys have ever had. Tom Landry, a most happy man, is carried off the field by... I don't know how you can criticize him for his record, but they always say, well, he never wins the big one, but he won a lot of big ones to even get in the playoffs. And now he watches the clock tick away as Shula has won his Super Bowl. The Miami Dolphins have defeated the Washington Redskins. Now the clock, there's the gun. And Miami has won Super Bowl seven. The final score, Miami 14 and Washington seven. fans pounding it off. The Vikings trying to line up. An awesome physical team with the Steelers today. Up goes Harris. Joe Green. Pittsburgh, the Super Bowl chance. Chuck Knowles up there. Pittsburgh wins it 16-6. They can get it on the rebound. This most certainly the last play of Super Bowl 10 unless we have a penalty. Dahlback pumps, fires. That's all. Picked off in the end zone by Glenn Edwards, and he's going to bring it out. This one is over. Edwards is down at the 28. 
And the Steelers repeat. The old gamer, <laughs> what do you call it? Scrum? Well, yeah, the old rugby, rugby match. There it is. So Kurt, count down. Counting down his right. There he That's is. That's the job. That's the toughest job Oakland's had today. <laughs> Lifting John Madden up. They got him up there. 250 pounds. Off they go. And the Raiders have won the Super Bowl championship. They are the world champs. That's Tex Ram with Landry, the president of the Cowboys. And there he goes. Dallas has defeated Denver in Super Bowl number 12. Dallas 27. Denver 10. 17 seconds to go. Again, Bradshaw goes down. And the Cowboys will come in. They look up at the clock. And it's moving along now. They're out of timeout. The Steelers have won it. The best Super Bowl game of them all. They had a great win in Super Bowl 10. This was even better. Chuck Noll goes off. He has won his third Super Bowl title. Yeah, it's like a fraternity. Just been informed that the MVP for this contest is picked by Sport Magazine. And their panel of voters is Terry Bradshaw. Now that's certainly something that you could not argue with. Noel and the Steelers then. Victorious in Super Bowl 14. For the Raiders, 40 seconds left with a first down. And I don't believe the Raiders will have to run another play. We want to thank Dennis, Manisha, and Bruce Jollish, our player identification personnel, Steve Vans, Jimmy Burns, statistician Joe Costanza, NBC's our executive producer, Don Olmeyer, producers Larry Cirillo, George Finkel, all the engineers and cameramen, 15 cameras here. The final seconds tick away. Jim Plunkett leads the Oakland Raiders to Super Bowl 15 victory, and Plunkett is announced as the most valuable player. It's a ring, but it's being the world champions, and they know they have it. to hang on. Curtis Jordan made the stop. Number 18 is about to be history. And the Lombardi Trophy will go to the Los Angeles Raiders. A very young team, but a super team. Final seconds ticking away. Depends upon how you look at it. Was it the lack of offense and defense by Miami, or was just brilliant play on the part of the offensive unit of the 49ers, directed by this man, Bill Waltz, and a great defensive area? Super Bowl 19 is in the record book. And Bill Waltz, who became a head coach so late in life. After second who's going to argue with Perry he wins most of those Walter Payton Mike Ditka hungry Chicago 
finally champions on this January day in New Orleans. Well, he might as well stay, I guess. Kubiak down by Dorsey. And Pepper Johnson. And Eric Howard. And Parcells is up on the shoulders of the offensive lineman. He's saying not yet. It's okay, Bill. It's okay. You got it. This ends what has been a class week for the Washington Redskins and Doug Williams in particular. Our congratulations to Joe Gibbs, the Redskins, and in particular, Doug Williams. Sensational. And the same, too, for the Denver Broncos. You don't lose it all. There's Danny Rees. Quarterback, I've ever watched play. Warm in on the left side. They'll flood that side. And his and will throw up the big one, hoping that something will ricochet. It doesn't. It's knocked to the ground by the 49ers. And that's it. The game is over. San Francisco has won Super Bowl 23. Jerry Rice, the hero for the 49ers. And Bill Walsh will get the ride. We wonder if it's his last as head coach. George Seifert in his first year. And they can never take it away. What a year they had. What a way to finish it. photographers and people all over the field but the clock still has four seconds on <laughs> when you keep the ball for over 40 minutes of a ball game your offensive line did a wonderful job is through Reich's the quarterback outside of Davis Davis hammers away and the clock will keep running and again Wilbur Marshall made the stop that should do it. The Redskins are the world champions. Once again, the final score of Super Bowl 26 is Washington 37, Buffalo 24, State. seconds to go and right goes down Leon Lett which will have a lot to talk about on the way home 17 seconds so the son of an ice cream supervisor wins the Super Bowl and it'll be vanilla tonight on the house <laughs> and lots of it what a performance by this young Dallas Cowboy football team they go back to big day as Super Bowl champions Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. I'll say at least when he wears the ring, yes, I played in Atlanta in 1994. Congratulations, Dallas. Buffalo, there are no words. First time that Aikman's gone down in the game, sacked by the press. By 23. Humphrey. Putting it up, and it is out of the end zone, and why not? Dion out of the end zone, winds up with the football. He gets the game ball. Dion catches that one in the bullpen. <laughs> the 49ers wrap up one of the great seasons in the history of the National Football League. There's the other last play. O'Donnell keeps it as far as he can. And uh, the Cowboys come down with the interception. And it is uh, Brock Merriam. Final score, Dallas 27, Pittsburgh 17. Favre kneels 
down the clock. Leave Bruce runs. Wilkerson. They start shaking hands. Mike Holmgren. Officially, we've just been notified the most valuable player of the game is Desmond Howard. Well, you were right. That's who you said you should have voted for, or I should have voted for. You vote for who you want to. No, no, no. He was, you know, you know, he changed things around. I, I think they all did a great job. I think, I think Desmond Howard did, and he's an MVP, and he deserves it. You know who I voted for? Yep. From a guy who was almost cut in training camp, the first special team player ever to win the Super Bowl MVP title. And this is what it's all about. It was a low moment of his great career. This then will become the highest moment. The completion of a great career, a Super Bowl championship for John Elway and the Denver Broncos. John Elway plays, there's not a lot of people in this world that know that level. And not a lot of people know the feeling that the Denver Broncos have at this moment. Probably the final play of the game. In regulation. It is caught by Dyson. Can he get in? No, he cannot. Mike Jones made the tackle. Super Bowl. No line. The game is over. The game is over. I thought it was Rob Burnett because he was really a tone setter in the first few series, uh, putting a lot of pressure on Kerry Collins. And um, but other than that, you've got to go with Ray Lewis. He's the heart and soul of this football team. That's it. The Baltimore Ravens, for the first time in their franchise history. Our Super Bowl champions with their emotional leader, their heart and soul, given the Super Bowl MVP trophy, Ray Lewis. Here comes one of greater importance if he makes it. And it's right down the pipe. Adam Vinatieri. No time on the clock. The Patriots have won Super Bowl 36. Unbelievable. Never lost two games in a row. We said at the top, John said the best back-to-back -back games they played this season were the last two in the playoffs. And they have saved the very best for last. And it will be over with the tackle of Chris Cooper here. From 0-26 to Super Bowl champions. And Steve Smith are deep. Vinatieri kicks it deep. From the one yard line, it's Rod Smart. The 20. Runs out of room, and the Panthers run out of time. That's it. And it's another three point victory for the New England Patriots in a Super Bowl. Will be the safety valve here, and the Pittsburgh Steelers seven and five. And wouldn't have made the playoffs two months ago. 
run the entire table with eight wins, regular and post, all of them in postseason on the road. The Colts brought everybody in their building to the Super Bowl and their wives. Every employee was brought down from the cafeteria staff, janitorial staff, grounds crew. They're all here to see the Colts of Indianapolis win Super Bowl 41. Colts have won the Super Bowl. And indeed, they looked upstairs. They confirm it is a fumble. And the Pittsburgh Steelers become the first franchise in history to win six Super Bowls. And he kept the coach offense off the field. Mr. Benson, their owner since 1985 in his 25th year, the one who hired Mickey Loomis and Sean Payton, signed Drew Brees. Breeze was one that could have been playing here as his home stadium, but the Dolphins, you know what, they just cast too much doubt. They were too suspicious that his shoulder wasn't going to heal, and Breeze didn't like the, the attitude and the vibe. He said, New Orleans wanted me. Yeah, that's right. They wanted him. Sean Payton said, come down here. I will let you help me design this offense. I'd say it worked out pretty well in four years. A franchise that was born Eight months after the first Super Bowl game, they struggled for years. They have been the full embodiment of their community. A sign of hope for the Saints. They sought respect. The Green Bay Packers have won the Super Bowl. The Lombardi Trophy is coming home. Brady, barring a defensive foul, the game ends here to the end zone. Hernandez is there, tipped and batted, Gronkowski can't get it, incomplete. And the New York Giants, given the last rights by many in December, are the Super Bowl champs. Today. And he booms this one. That takes the fair catch free kick out of play. And it's him. Again to the 40. Still on his feet at the 50. And the Ravens have won it. 34-31. The Super Bowl belongs to Baltimore. World Championship. On second down, the handoff to Anderson. And that should be it. Dominant performance across the board. Pete Carroll, the Seattle Seahawks, winding their way. 15 seconds away officially. And the first world championship in franchise history. As they win it here at MetLife Stadium, 43 to 8. The Seahawks are world champs. In early October, there's a lot of bright sunshine right now in Foxborough and all over New England. And after the wackiest lead up, to a Super Bowl ever, the New England Patriots are the NFL champions. This situation requires a 10 second runoff. So please put one second on the game clock. One second. Mercifully, the they run it down to one second. The first to ever get to 200 wins. Some of the records. And now two-time Super Bowl champion.
A final star turn it is for Peyton. And the Denver Broncos have taken Super Bowl 50. Escapes the sack, launching one for the end zone. It's a jump ball and it's incomplete. And Grock was there. And time runs out. This is the end of the game. And for the Philadelphia Eagles, the long drought is over. Finally. was 65 when he beat the Patriots in Super Bowl 46. And there it is. The dynasty continues. Or just throw this thing up and try to run out the rest of this clock. And they have done it. Chiefs are Super Bowl champions here in Miami.